Okay, lesson 10.3, we're going to be talking um, a lot more about limits here. Uh, if we look at uh, example 1, we want to find the limit as x approaches 1 of x cubed minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to find this three different ways. The first way is graphically. The second way is we're going to solve numerically. And that's the same thing as using a table. And then the third way is algebraically. So let's look at graphically first. Okay, so in your calculator, you're going to turn it on, go to Y1, and you're going to enter in um, the function. Again, that's x cubed minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay, once you've done that, the window um, that we're going to look at it, let's look at it in Z standard, and then go ahead and hit graph. Alright, so there's the function. You're then going to hit your trace key. Right, so then the cursor will appear on the, uh, the curve of the graph. And what we want to do is we're going to just scroll... Um, and get as close as we can to x equaling 1. All right, so we have um, x equals 0 0.9 here, and the y um, coordinate is approximately 2.7. And then here we have x equals 1.06, and the y coordinate is approximately 3.18. So we can approximate then when x equals 1, our y coordinate is approximately three, so that so we can we can say that the limit, um, if we were to guess, would be three. So we can come over and graphically, um, we could approximate this limit being three. All right, now let's do it numerically or using a table. So what we're going to do is go to your window, um, I apologize, you're going to go to second window, so that's your table set. Alright, table start. We want our table to start at 1. Alright, we want to know what the graph is doing around x equals 1. And then the change in table is we're going to make it pretty small. So we're going to say 0 0.001. And then we're going to hit second graph, or that's your table. All right, so you'll notice that this graph is discontinuous at x equaling 1. All right, you, we, we get an error here. All right, however, um, as x approaches 1 from the left, you can see that it is going to be 3. And as x approaches 1 from the right, it's also going to be 3, it looks like here. All right, so let's go back. Alright, and we'll say that it's 3. Now, as convincing as the graphical and numerical evidence is thus far um, about the limit being 3, the best evidence is to do it algebraically. Okay, so if you really want to know um, what the limit is and, ha and, and be confident in that and not be guesstimating or estimating, do it algebraically. So 
that's what we'll do over here. Um, so the limit as x approaches 1. Now, we cannot just take 1. Um, normally, when we do these limits, we'll see in a couple examples that we ideally would love to just be able to plug it in and see what we get. Um, however, the issue with that is when we plug in 1 for x, we're going to be dividing by 0. So we're going to have to you know, change the function a little bit, all right, break it up. And so the x cubed minus 1 up top, we can rewrite that as x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. All right, wrote it as a product of two factors. And then we're going to divide by x minus 1. Now notice the x minus 1's cancel. So the limit as x approaches 1 of x squared plus x plus 1. What's that going to be? Now we can go ahead and plug in 1 for x. So when we do that, we're going to get uh, 1 squared, which is 1, plus x, well plug in 1 there, that's 1, plus 1, so that equals 3. Okay, so the limit of this func um, the limit as x approaches 1 of that function is going to be 3. Alright, and so um, we supported this answer three different ways, algebraically, numerically, or by using a table, and graphically.